check 212. 212. The event will be called Glory Days Legends of the Chicago Bears. It's the official celebration of the 25th anniversary of that fantastic 85 team. About two months ago, I had to, I was invited to go to Dallas, uh, Texas, and, and, and they did a thing down there. Brenda Bichelle did it, and it's called Glory Days. Welcome, Iron Mike. Mike Ditka. It was a year that I played for the Cowboys and coached with the Cowboys under Coach Landry. So they got him up on the stage, and they told stories. I have to tell you one thing. It was the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Mike has actually mellowed through the years. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think he started mellowing when he started doing those Levitra ads or something. Yeah. Like I sat there and I said, I want to do this with the 85 team. I think back to 1985, it seemed like the whole group of us were right about 25 years old. I know I was, and I was privileged to be a part in a small way of, of a great team. And I don't think Chicago will ever forget the 85 Bears. With your team formation, Chicago Bears. You know, when you say 4,000 people, you would think, you know, wow, what a large venue. But it's going to be extremely intimate. And the reason being, uh, we have a personal relationship with the people in Chicago. You know, the love and the relationship that we have with the fans in Chicago is real. And so, you know, so the stories you'll hear will be real. I grabbed him by the neck and the crotch and lift him up over my head and throw him in that booth. He flew like Superman. I think it'll be an exchange between, you know, the, the guys and the fans that'll be so unique that uh, probably would not exist anywhere else in the country. Maybe here's some things that you haven't heard in the past and that hasn't been in the press. It was amazing we won. I mean, just, you know, looking at, at Mike and Buddy going at it every day. I hope I don't have to separate him again like I did at the halftime of that Miami game. I never said anything bad about Buddy Ryan. But we can't say that on the other hand that he did say anything bad about me. But you're right. Time heals all wounds. When you get everybody to buy into a concept, you know, that uh, you know, it's almost like refusing to lose. And, 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 and this team was all into it. We want to build this relationship and, and bring him back into the fold bring him back into the Bear family where he belongs. He's, he's such a big part of us as a player and as a coach, and there's no question he's a great ambassador for the Bears and the city of Chicago. This is a story hour where you just sit back and it comes to you and it unfolds, and everybody has their story about the Bears. You guys come out and enjoy us because we definitely enjoyed you while you supported us, so we'll give you some great stories. I won't tell you all of them, but be there.